hello and welcome to solution cone in this video we'll see what are models and how we can create models in Codeigniter and how to use the functions inside that models so in the previous video we saw about the controllers how to create a controller and how to access it from URLs so in this video we'll see about the models so the way we created controllers in the same way we can create models by just getting a new file and save the file with the, the name as something my model dot php so this would be my class name class my model extends ci underscore model so the declaration of the classes in model and controller are quite similar in controller we extend it to ci underscore controller and in model we extend it to ci underscore model and inside the models we create function public function and your first function first name for example now it would return me the first name okay now let us load this in the view my controller and here instead of the test I'm going to use this thing so the things which are necessary to make a model is the file name the file name and the class name should be the same with the first letter caps so this is a basic convention and other than that everything is same as a controller so any public function in the model can be accessed in the controller uh, easily but if the method uh, if any private method has been declared last name if this method is a private method so this method can't be accessed okay outside this class so this is a basic object oriented feature now if I want to use this model I can do the same thing this load model instead of view and here would be the model name the model name is my underscore model so all in small will do and coordinator also provides a second parameter for your model name if you want to give it or or else let me do one thing let's not complicate the things this is the way to load the model now all the public function inside this model are accessible in this controller so how do we use it so this and the model name and the function name inside that model for example it's a first name okay now let us store in a variable first name and simply let's echo first name is dollar first name now if I try to access my controller slash test so here we get first name is Akshay 
okay so the f uh, inside the test we loaded a model named my model and we just stored the first name in a first name variable and loaded it now let's try to do the same thing for the last name and the function name is also the last name function and let's echo let's echo the last name so this should give me an error and you can see the error call to a private method in my model last name so this gives you clear indication that the last name is a private method and can't be accessed in the controller so in order to do that you can do one thing you can just uh, make it as a public or if you can't make it as a public you can just call this method from here and store it in a variable last name because it's in the same class so I am I have the access of it and then I'll return it in this manner okay and when I now there is no need to use the last name and instead of the first name it's my name and let's do it this way now you have the full name okay instead of first name my name is my name is Akshay Bajpay so this is the way you can access the functions inside the models here you can do all the database connections or API calls for example authentications from Google from Facebook or loading some external APIs etc etc you can do it everything here <clears throat> this is the actual backend of your applications so all the database connections loading data from databases or another external APIs would be done from this models so and the, another way of declaring the model for example I just let me create a new model and save it as authentication from Google Google dot PHP let us make another model and the same way a class which extends CI underscore model and a function user data and returns some name okay now the thing what I'm going to show you is the name of this model is way too large so the to load this it is the same as this authentication from Google and now the name uh, this would be here 
the object is here now the object name authentication from Google it's way too big so in coding Igniter, you also have the facility to make it small like Google so instead of using the whole name of the class you can instead use a naming convention Google which is your object name so basically what does this line of code do is it will create an object of authentication from Google and name the object as Google so we can access each and every method which is public and variables which are public in this class using Google Google is the object name in this case so object name and this is the function name so this is used to store the whatever value has been written so I hope this is clear and if you have any queries please feel free to comment below and thank you guys please keep liking and sharing thanks